he can. I don't know what happened to my observer. There we go. I actually do have a control grouped, flying it over here to see just exactly what Ronin has built. And as you can see right now, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going up against. I'm praying that this is the only uh, colony that Ronin has still running. Actually, mismanaging my observer just a little bit, and I'm getting, giving that free kill to that photon cannon. But uh, yeah, I'm moving. I, I double back with these stalkers, unfortunately, because I didn't scout out this natural location. And I doubled back with those stalkers to make sure that Ronin was not mining out of there. So uh, actually, at this point in the game, I only have that this one probe and this congregation of stalkers. So four stalkers to five zealots. Uh, and it's, it's gonna be pretty close considering that Ronan has this nexus with income. I mean, it's a small amount of income, but it is income nonetheless. I also have this plus one weapon upgrade to my stalkers. So I think with micro, I should be able to break this colony over here. But this is a lot of, uh, a lot of zealots trying to double back here, move and attack down these, uh, these zealots as best I can using making good use of the hold position key to focus down these stock these zealots these zealots you see for yourselves they can't even uh, they can't even breach the shields of these stalkers as they're all sitting at a pretty good amount of HP this guy right here is the weakest in the back with 61 hit points these zealots trying to get some sort of a surround but the stalker movement speed is just absolutely superior trying to sneak around here to this stalker but my DPS is just going to be superior, especially with this plus one particle disruptor upgrade. And now I have to slowly work to take out these probes and nexus. So the threat of Ronin's income has been quelled for now. It, uh, <laughs> certainly a very frantic game. A combination of just starvation, attrition, base racing, and uh, proximity build orders. Of very wacky game and I was pretty excited to be able to uh, to cast this immediately after I played it. But, uh, in truth, I actually ran out of, de of uh, acceptable replays to show you guys, so I did this placement match to try to make a game available and uh, this game did meet my standards of quality and I was able to bring it out to show you guys this uh, pretty unconventional StarCraft 2 play. I even have this proximity pylon over here that I never used, but uh, in this case both players were rewarded to a degree for using creative build orders. Trying to outrange this cannon, making sure that this gateway goes down is uh, it's still on my view, I apologize for that. I Often I will hit the E key, it's, E is supposed to be the hotkey to switch to the perspective of everybody, but it doesn't work. I think Blizzard has to fix that, simply the hotkey doesn't work, so yeah, as a result I've been hitting E and it won't switch back to everybody, so I do apologize if the camera was left uh, unwrapped for too long there. Pulling this soccer away, <laughs> really it's, I have no excuse for losing any of these units, I only have a total of 5 units to control. Right now all Ronin has left is these two zealots, he's fighting tooth and nail to stay in this game, but he simply is out teched and he leaves right there. I was satisfied with this result. I think both players uh, did their best really to stay in this game, but uh, that is the outcome for you right there. Thank you for watching people, I hope you have yourselves a good day and be easy. Continue playing StarCraft 2.